And we have an update about a story we first told you about last week. The driver who police say is responsible for a crash that killed a 25 year old Merced woman is now also being accused of taking his own daughter from her mother. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios has been covering the story since the beginning and gives us an update to this complicated investigation. Fox 26 first told you about Tiffany going on Saturday after she helped save many lives with organ donation. But a Fox 26 viewer did reach out to me personally to dig a little deeper on who the driver in the crash really was. All I want is uh, justice for my sister. Almost a month ago, 25-year-old Tiffany Gowen was ejected from the passenger seat of a car on Highway 99 near Ashland after California Highway Patrol says a male driver traveling at a high rate of speed lost control of the vehicle. Gowen was in a coma for a couple of weeks after the crash until she was pronounced brain dead and donated her organs to those in need. Police say 39-year-old Ronald Webster Pittman Jr. was driving the car with his 10-year-old daughter inside when it crashed and killed Gowen. And she didn't know him at all. Um, none of her friends knew who he was either. Nobody. Tiffany Gowen's sister Catherine says the day of the crash was the first time Tiffany had spent any time with Pittman. The only thing that I heard from her was that there was this guy that would come into her 7-Eleven with a little girl that she thought was cute. She liked him. She wanted his number. Um, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. She didn't even know his name. Then, Gowen says Daniel Dean, the mother of Pittman's daughter, contacted her on social media after hearing about the crash to say that her daughter had been kidnapped by Pittman. She was taken by her father. I We were going through a custody battle and I got full custody of her and between North Carolina, Riley, North Carolina and Hawaii, he was taking her, I guess, back and forth. I've already reported it to the police. And Dean is from Hawaii and says her daughter has been missing for over a year now and was last seen February 9th. And she doesn't deserve to be dragged all over or hidden by anybody. She should be in a safe environment, her father has taken her, he doesn't want to give her back. Pittman is from North Carolina and has been arrested many times on various charges. Gowen says finding this out after her sister's death is pretty disturbing. Uh, this man is a literal menace to society. I'm praying that she comes home soon. She is only 10. She has no idea what's going on. For Fox 26 News, I'm Sophia Lesios. Now, Fox 26 News did reach out to Honolulu police and they say that there is an open case about custodial interference concerning Pittman, but we have not found out whether there is a warrant out for Pittman's arrest. Have you noticed